world I'm discovering With no cares, life is so easy Can I justify being lazy And find the skeleton of what I could be I had enough of the world Always begging me to this, to that So I'm escaping What if I is the right to run Or am I falling short of who I should become? Hey, everybody. Uh, I hope you all had a fantastic week. Um, time to be cowboys. Um, this is Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm excited to play some of this game. I, I uh, started with the uh, online yesterday to at least get to my character. I, I probably won't do any of that tonight just because i want to try to get to as much of this single player as i can on stream um i'll probably look at it and see if it warrants like a another stream of its own but tonight it'll be just a single player so I'll switch over but it seems kind of cool though it's got like uh the free roam and you could do like tra uh trading and crafting it's got uh battle royale mode it's got like something that's like kind of like daisy but without zombies um so yeah i'm excited They love themselves some se sepia in this game. Gotta make it look old timey. Yeah. I need to quit with this solemn music and 
Play some Possum Posse. In a polite way. Let's not get too crazy. Yes. I did play the first one in this, uh, in this game, um, but this one is actually a prequel, so you guys aren't missing anything. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce. Hey, Belligo. I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So, 
They both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather! Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days. We'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Now that his name is Dutch. I happen to know because uh, that he does survive because he he uh, is in the first game. It is a prequel. <laughs> well, I'm not spoiling anything that you wouldn't know coming into the game if you'd played the first. can try to loop myself here. See how that goes. I love uh, the snow physics here. That looks really great. I can also confirm from playing a little bit of online that the mud looks really good too in the rain. It's important to have good looking mud. Let's hitch up here. 
Yeah, I've heard some things like no mud, but that just seems crazy. Hey, it sounds like they're having a good old time in there. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Hey! Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Is this not the shed that he wanted me to? I guess not. Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. Would you relax? I'm trying to run through the snow. Arthur, take cover in that shed over there. Are you going to go inside the shed? Tried going inside it. It's really not a shed. This is the rest of the stream. Figure out which shed they want. <laughs> now you're specific. Which one's the cattle shed? Gotta be this, huh? You want me to be way over here? It says return to the shed. Yeah, maybe he wants me to be over there. I'm going, I'm going. I don't know why it makes such a difference where I'm hiding. Peak. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am what do you want? To disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body food in the wagon. Uh-oh. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should... Time to get my six-shooter out. Now, friend. I ain't asking for much. Please. I am... I'm desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's goddamn. No? Oh, yeah, I do.
See, what's his name is just fine. Dutch. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Canned peaches. Let's see, should I have canned peaches, baked beans, or classic oat cakes? I think I'm going to go for the canned peaches. I was not a fan of the, of the uh, canned peaches. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. I got two dollars and seventy two cents. Some premium cigarettes. And a postcard. Hey, I gotta get these biscuits. Four times assorted biscuits. You really want me to leave that behind, Dutch? I didn't think so. So you want to be a stop looking for stuff so you can just send me to look for stuff? Boxing night. Snaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. 
Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please. Please. Get the hell out of here. Go. He knocked my hat off. Rude. Let me pick up my hat and my gun. I'm right back on the head. Calm down, horse. Press X to pat the horse. Now, this is what we came for. Continuing to bond with your horse increases its trust in you and improves its attributes. <laughs> you let go, huh? Show him a little faster. It's covering off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. Hey, there's people hiding in the walls all over this place. Come here. Oh, look what I found in the cellar. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you Oh, you fool. Michael, look at you. Miss. It is gonna be okay. We mean you. Would she like come out of a horror movie? Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. She's gonna need a coat or something. Okay. They gave her one. Okay, miss. They came three days ago. And my husband. They... Okay. Miss, you are. Safe now. <laughs> it's a nice bonfire. Can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. That's comforting. We're bad men, but we're not them. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. <laughs> At least they're honest. It was a great line. He was my husband. Now I searched that house pretty good. I don't know where she was hiding. Scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. 
Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch <laughs> of turkeys? Get yourself. Man. Billy Williamson was in the first game. Or, yeah, the first game which takes place in the future from this story. He was a character. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Uh, Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed he looked for me thank you this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time so if it's the same John, John Marston was the person that you play, the character that you play in the uh, the first game. Uh, in this game, you play Arthur. In in that game, you played John Mar uh, John, John Marston. Somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Yeah, I'm getting cold just looking at this game. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. John, you tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. <laughs> we continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot, too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business. 
Max or uh, Nack has ridden this horse before. I don't know. I'm hoping we'll get to some of the open once it opens up into the open world stuff. Um, I don't know how how much a lead in that that it has. But uh, yeah, eventually it opens up and it's like uh, Skyrimy open world. You run around, get quests, and craft, and collect things, and all that kind of good stuff. Now you tell me. I don't see it. Oh, wait. I don't see a shotgun on here. Maybe I gotta go to the other side. Not sure what he's talking about. I don't see a shotgun. Approach the saddle on your horse. Hold left button. R to select sidearms. Plus, press the. L okay, I get it now. I get it now. Down this way. You sure about this? <laughs> How are we going to get back up there? Why on earth did he come up here? OK. 
Okay. Good now. Watch your step. Real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. That sounds closer now. Come on. Very suspicious. Very suspicious, Javier. I was, I, when I was doing online, I was playing mostly with uh, mouse and keyboard because uh, there's some like competitive shooting type stuff and I wanted to be able to aim. But uh, tonight I've been doing controller. I, I don't know if I have a preference yet, but uh, for online, I'd probably prefer the mouse at least. But they both seem, seem fine. And uh, it helps also. I love the fact that you can uh, How you doing? Uh, go first person. He knew the risks. That's quite a scratch you got there. Yeah, it's gotta be him. Good to see you, Arthur Morgan. He's younger, but that's him. Where'd they go? There they are. And maybe those maybe you could have uh, like gamed up and scared him away, I don't know. I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer to attempt. Shit, 
There's more on the right. We got more wolves on the left. Get up! The hell out of here! Get up! <laughs> Jesus! You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. You have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know? We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Ah, you oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're going to get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old. I have a GTX 1080. While we wait and thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Oh, Not sorry. Doubtful, just worried. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. We had a bit of bad luck. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. And we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Yeah. Starved to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, 
I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted, salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Yeah. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm. John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just later, Satno. Have a good night. I don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The river's moving. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. There's deer been here. And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Stay low and move slow. 
slowly. You see the tracks? I think so. <laughs> Maybe not. Focus. That bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Take the shot. Ah, it keeps drifting around on me. Oh, and then he puts his head down again. That's okay. Ah, I scared him. Oh, you can make him raise their head. That's cool. I'm going to try that. Where do you go? Maybe I should switch back to the mouse. Cold water. I'm the worst. <laughs> Mel's rooting for the deer. Run away, run away, Bambi.
<laughs> I'm making myself too obvious. No, I think we go back because I know there, I know for a fact that that you do like um, you like butcher them or whatever. I don't know. Ah. I think I'll go to this one down here. The tracks. There was tracks, there was deer down here. Not as clean as I would have liked. Okay. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once we get it on my shoulder. Okay. I'll go grab the other one. Where's my horse? I was very thoughtful of it. It's kind of funny, uh, because the game has so many, uh, so much attention to detail and animations that the things like that just kind of stand out more.
Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Not necessarily okay. Just Considering how things were passable. A couple of days back, so maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon, people are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in. I uh, really. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more. Fun. I don't think it. I think passable is a little less than okay. And even like it's get off here, want that? bare minimum. Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with your Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Colm, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. <laughs> Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother. That ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. 
taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jim. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the cow once. Hugged me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Get these over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the bow proper. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. <clears throat> what a surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. <laughs> well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Run, run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Stay alert there, Javier. Arthur. Because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. I fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> what a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around, wait for him to come find us? 
All of you. We got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. We've both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. There's quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go.
who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Home can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. On your horse, Arthur. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. I think you're going the wrong way. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Colm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We don't have time to debate this.
Oh. Chad has one. So, what are we doing, Dutch? <laughs> I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Oh, I didn't mean that I was telling him to do that. Shot his hat off. Coming out of the trees. I can't see any of them. There's one. Wait, that's a, is that a horse? I don't want to shoot a horse. Oh, that's my guy.
Uh oh. Forgot about this mechanic. Of course, now I can't see anybody. There's one. I'm gonna run out of time. I got two of them at least. It's kind of like a vats. Was this Dead Island? I'm just curb stomping dead folk. Got some bitters. 82 cents? Golly. Eighty four cents. I'm looting. Sheesh. What's with the NPCs being impatient with me lately? Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. That's what I... Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Partner, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Yeah, I'm going. Explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Ooh, a cigar. So, boss, found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. That's quite a name. Leviticus Cornwall. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Got a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. And I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get cold. This hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind at Blackwater. That won't happen again. 
All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. That's what I was looking for. Cinematic camera. Oh. Leave him to me. All right. We're heading back. Just bring him back alive. It could be useful. Okay. You got it. Uh. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, hog tie him. Really wanted to just pick him up, but okay. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, Mister. Oh God, no! I thought about looting him, but I figured he's been through enough. He just got hogtied. You think I should loot him? I'm gonna at least take his hat. Oh no, I can't pick up his hat. I, I killed somebody in the online version. I was able to pick up their hat and like potentially just wear it myself. <laughs> Refund. But at least it didn't get looted. Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, <laughs> please. Let's scare him into telling us everything. I'm gonna fall into a river. Even though that cinematic camera is pretty. Have a heart, mister. They don't tell me nothing. I swear. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. Those are words. Two bones. <laughs> Don't hurt me, 
please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <coughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. <laughs> Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at her. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marcy. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower, just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking, we could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on! What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea, we're living. Look at me. We're living, even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnate, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Yeehaw. All right. We're moving out. Follow me. Okay, gentlemen. Listen up. All of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the old risk. The train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah. You head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. 
You and me, Morgan Gray. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move past. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's run! up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, we'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Head down, see how he's getting on. Okay. You getting on? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. up to the others. I got it from here. Ready to move quick and remember. 
Remember the plan. All of you. No mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. Hey, where's my mask? I gotta find it. Switch to the item wheel. That includes you, Art. <laughs> I guess I didn't do it right. Let me try again. There we go. Time to be outlaws. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. What? Gotta do it the old fashioned way. Come on, boys. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> bye bye, Javier. Hey, down here. Pull me up. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Help me. Help me. Yeah, you're okay. Let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. You and me, big man. Come on. We need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Yes. You go. Okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Shovel to the face. This guy looks like Abraham Lincoln. Bye bye, Abraham. Hell yeah. I don't know. God damn it. I thought that was all of 
What's my crouch or my there it is. Good shoot, kid. Nice. He shot my hat off. I'm gonna go find it. Can I find it, hopefully? I need my hat. I'm looking for my hat. Sheesh. Maybe this guy has a hat. Just like in his pocket or something. No, but he did have 50 cents. We don't have time to play games. I'm not playing games, Dutch. I'm looking for my hat. Man, I can't find it. <laughs> Darn it. I couldn't find my hat. No, I, I'm hatless. My head is going to be cold. You got a steel frame train car. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now we're talking. Now don't matter too much to us. Oh, I like that little toss. Yeah. Light the fuse. Here we go. Oh my god, run! You got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. All right. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My oh my. Train. <laughs> They'll push me around, Javier. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Oh, shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Railroad con 
contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boaties ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Safe. No, this looks like some. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Uh, I'll take a look. Got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. Oh, yeah, just a little cash. I want the cigar. No. I can't take it. Let's hurry this along now. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we could probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? Train? Yeah, get it out of here. About them. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three, so behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. You liar. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Yeah, I know. I'm trying not to be too boring uh, for a stream and spend time, you know, because I could go through those mountains and loot everybody, but I'm not going to. Where's my hat? <laughs> In the online, I got a big top hat for my character. Mel would be proud. hellhole we're gonna try weather seems stable and we just robbed the leviticus cornwall train we got money in our pockets the worst is behind us gentlemen so the question uh, is where now i know this country a little i told you we should set up camp in horseshoe overlook near valentine we'll be able to hide out there no problem as long as we keep our noses clean <laughs> well then let's go clean noses and everything else arthur you're in that one bring hosea I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Coming down from the mountain.
Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Nice peaceful wagon train. Get us out the stream. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then... Cut left, inland. So... It's kind of cool. Yeah. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Idiot. God. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. 
When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. When I'm 13, I just... I, I wanted to turn the thing back on, but now I don't I forgot the key. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder I thought it was just a shoulder button. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. I never sure to turn that compass off. We still heading the right way. There it is, okay. Regular. That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. How low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. That's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you. Dutch, we've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. I didn't care for our slow, broken wheel wagon. Yep. Got a like that uh Any trouble getting 1800s here? GPS. Nope. We're well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. All 
Yeah, I am too, actually. I mean, I'm guessing we may like run into like little camps kind of like this, maybe, and then and then they kind of set you off and let you kind of do whatever you want to do for a bit. I hope so, gentlemen. We have survived for now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose, and every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are Safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for Robin Banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> don't get on her bad side. Completed chapter one. You guys can't see. I just got an achievement for that. So, seems wherever I put myself, I block something. Road east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel. Spot of black water in that whole mess. Good to have my hat back. Arthur. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book.
Yeah, good question. Maybe she'll turn up again. So I guess this kind of answers your question, Shard. This kind of looks like we're, we've kind of reached an open worldy type of part where we, it's like everyone's kind of left to their own devices and you can kind of go off and do your own thing or whatever. Is this my horse? Arthur, my boy. Oh, Dear boy. what do you got to say? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time... Your beard is getting long. You can get the shaving kit beside your tent. <laughs> We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Maybe I'll check that out. I wanted to flip it first. Can't read it. Susan something. So I saw like a little upgrade thing, so I'm guessing you can kind of upgrade different parts of your camp here. It's Shave. Let's see what our choices here are. We could choose which side we want to shave. Leave a smart mustache. Go for a clean look. I think it grows back, like, literally over time in this game. Let's take a look at the map. So we got a little bit of it opened up. So we can go there. I kind of want to go to the town. A saloon? Yeah, we need to see a saloon. That's about the most Wild West thing I can imagine.
I saw a thing where you can like um, you can like rear up on the horse. I was trying to remember how to do that. Okay, boy. I can I can at least pat the horse. <laughs> There's so many buttons and things to do here. Easier to find it in the keyboard section. Oh, do you get? Do you need to be on the horse to brush it? I guess so. It's not working. Maybe I need to get like a brush first. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Oh yeah? What's the matter? Not a thing happens around here without an Odrisco saying so. Understand me? Oh, they're all Drisco boys. You're lucky I got a saloon to be visiting. I love the terrain. And look at the open skies with the clouds. Pretty great. Your horse is dirty. This will call it to, its health to drain faster. Brush your horse or ride it through water to clean it. Yep. I wanted to brush it. But yeah, you really can tell it's dirty. That is a dirty horse. I need to. I need to go into town, I guess, and look for a horse brush. Maybe this cattle place will have a uh, a store that sells horse brush. Let's talk to this guy. He seems like a guy who knows his way around. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he's not happy with me <laughs> he got mud all over him You're dead. 
Oh. Can we just drop this? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, now I'm wanted. <laughs> Oh no, I see that guy. <laughs> sure, I knew this would happen. Jeez. All I wanted was a horse brush. <laughs> All I wanted was a horse brush. <laughs> Keep evading. Run, dear, run! You knew I'd accidentally uh, grab someone and start choking them. Yep. And then have to punch out another guy. Run someone over or something? Yeah. All right. If I'm spotted by a lawman, they'll come after me again, so. Yeah, I remember that from, from the last game. I could just kind of pay it off. I wonder if... And it was in the train stations before, but... That's railway tickets. Post office. Okay, I'm here. We don't need more trouble from you here. <laughs> what did it say? Somebody in there. Should figure out the key to like holster my gun. I know it's I know there is one. You ain't riding ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I 
one of my favorite things to do in the in the first game was there was a dedicated key to just kind of walk around and whenever you were to walk by someone you could just go howdy it was really fun just to just like run through town like howdy ma'am and like howdy sir just whoever you walked by just be very polite Okay. Yeah. Same button, just, just do it. Tap it instead of hold it. So where is this... One adult rabbit and one average squirrel. Okay. Oh, now he's... Where did he come from? Pay bounty. Happy to help you start over. Folks in New Hanover will hear about this right away. All right. Now I can get back on track without having the law after me. The law... <laughs> I like you I like that you actually take a breath after you whistle too many times. Listen to it. Yep. Oh wow, he did it. Yep, yep. Oh, cuz the horse is close now. Let's get here. Wait. Come on. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's oh, he didn't do it anymore. Before I could make him whistle like 3 or 4 times and then you'd have to stop and you'd like literally take a breath. <laughs> I don't know, I like the small details. Yeah. Hello. All right, where was that saloon? There's the saloon. I passed it. What's this JE about? Maybe I'll circle around. Look out. Else Sorry, fellow. <laughs> he wasn't happy about that. <laughs> Hey, that's not very nice. Oh. 
That wasn't. Guess that'll be a write off. That's it. Get him. Hey. Yep. I'm on a fast horse. You can't touch me. What on earth is going on here? Hey, are you shooting at me? Oh, that must be a... F he's friendly. I don't know if I, these are normally open or if it's blocked because I'm in combat or what the... to do was visit the saloon maybe buy a horse brush and then I stopped to look at a crime being committed and then they started shooting at me Now I got this whole town against me. <laughs> now I finally died. <laughs> I'm hoping it gives me just a checkpoint where I could just, before all this, maybe when I first entered town or something. Oh, I didn't realize what time it was, though, either. Huh. Eh, this isn't... Did I lose my bounty? Okay. Well, at least I can proceed. <laughs> That's not a bad, uh... Outcome. Hey, are you blind? Sorry, feller. Oatmeal, pork and beans, squirrel boil, 
and pickled eggs. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't a dramatic enough entrance. Does the door close itself? trail together funny thing about Big's penis <laughs> they're curly like their tails <laughs> put that in your fucking book Plato <sighs> this isn't going very well apparently not this is Jim Boy Calloway the Jim Boy Calloway who? the gunslinger fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that. But... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Hi. Good to see someone working hard. What else am I gonna do? Excuse me, but I need the money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. He was stumbling out of the room. We got gunsmith, we got the sheriff, we got a doctor. What else we got? Another saloon. Let's go say hi. <laughs> hey, right, Ooh, this guy's got a mustache. Check that out. Boy. He talks too fast. He gets a mouthful of hair. Mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah. Regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. 
Bar fight. That's all I've ever wanted is being thrown. Man, look at that mud. That looks great. Really, boy? Well, the rain's already coming down. Probably a little scripted, but I'm going to go with it. Man, this guy's kicking my butt. I wasn't aware that I'd won yet. No business. No business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah. <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. 
Join <laughs> them when you're ready. But what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. So, back to our tour of town. <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, a bank. And... A general store. Saints Hotel. I like that he's got kind of a limp right now. A blacksmith. That's a little better. What do you think you're doing here? Let's see about hell. Help! Oh, hell! What the hell? Oh, jeez. I guess I should just be happy I didn't actually shoot the guy. I just wanted to target him and say hello. Let's see, we have pigs. Oh, we gotta go see the pigs, right? And and sheep for Shiar. Wait, I don't see any. Are they all out? All those, all the stables are empty. Here, pig, 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 pig. Man, what happened? Oh, here we go. Here we go. What do we have? What do we have? We got some little lambs. Oh, the lamb almost got it. Oh, there he goes. You're on your own. You're free. Oh, he decided Hello. the life of freedom isn't isn't really w what he's looking for. He's back. Lots of sheep. Any chickens in the hen house? What happened to all the chickens? I hear chickens. Oh, here they are. They're all outside. Find yourself, Watch your step. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's just white. Well, 
All right. I think that's a good place to, to call it for tonight. Um, I appreciate everyone watching. Um, it was a lot. This is a fun game. I, I like uh, uh, I like the the style of it and the setting and and some, the acting is really good too. Story looks like it could uh, turn out to be pretty pretty good too. And I, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect in that area. So, um, anyway, I will see you all next week. I'm gonna I'll take a look at the. Uh, I can, in fact, I can probably jump out real quick and. I don't want to do that. I want to go with this. So. Well, I mean, it seems, I mean, yeah, you know, it is whatever you make of it, but, uh, the online stuff is, uh, looks like it could be interesting too it's basically a fantasy setting without the magic right Well, I uh, have, you know, Shiara, that because uh, I knew I'd be playing a guy in the single player. My online character will be very girl focused because I made a female. And here she is with her nice top hat. Um, I don't know a whole lot about what all you do in the in the uh, in the online yet, but it seems cool. It seems like kind of sandboxy. Um, like in the free room, people are just out there, and and hey, maybe they're friendly and we'll work together with you, but maybe not, you know. Um, and then you can also like queue up, kind of like a GTA style, obviously, where you can just kind of like queue up for different activities that are going on. Um, uh, so I'll probably be playing around with those and see how they are if, if it looks like it's something that could be uh interesting enough to sustain a stream night maybe i'll i'll do a one focused on the online stuff but if not then then i won't um but anyway have a good night everyone